Hey everybody, Mikey Kid Outdoors here. So where are we doing today? We're here at Cedar Lake between Murfreesboro and Carbondale, Illinois. And specifically here at the Cove Hollow Trailhead. Um, there's a couple of roads you can come down to get on the trail network. And uh, I've wanted to come here for a while. So I've had a few friends out here and I'm just going to check it out. All right, so I'm up there. Woohoo! So I'm gonna take this Cove Hollow Trail down, and eventually it intersects this Purple Trail. There's uh, a little branch there, and eventually it can get down to this other road where you've got the Boat Dock. So Boat Dock Road looks like you've got some trailhead access. There's some more Cedar Lake trailage down there, and even more and more and more of it down to the south. So, we're gonna see what we can see here. All right, so I got a trail over there to the left, and another trail over here to the right. <laughs> All right, probably can't see it too well, but uh, I'm looking at that trail off to the left, and uh, there's some little loop there that kind of comes around and loops back, I guess, further down the trail, so guess that means go off to this one here to the right to actually be the trail. Which, if you look at the map, it shows a direction that that's correct. Well, everyone, that's the uh, <laughs> first downward descent of the trail. A little wet and rocky. And heading on down, you got these uh, little logs for erosion. But it's still a fairly good rough descent here. Oof. Oh, got a nice little view of the lake here already. It's kind of nice. Can't tell trail conditions are fairly wet. So last night there were a whole bunch of thunderstorms, strong winds, tornadoes and stuff came all the way through different parts of southern Illinois. So a couple towns over from me, they had a tornado hit down, caused a bunch of damage. Power lines down and everything when I was coming down here. So I had a friend I knew that hikes, and they went over to Lust Creek uh, by Eddyville. It was their first time over there. So <laughs> they were like, hey, I'm lost. So I tried to find out roughly where they were on the map and uh just try to give some directions but yeah there was a whole lot of nastiness out in the air last night but i i had the opportunity to go hiking and camping and stuff but it's just like yeah with all that weather coming through and tornadoes large thunderstorms i'll be like nah so i had other stuff i could get done so i kind of passed on it and decided to come down here for a day trip a nice little uh, spillway here. A lot of water flowing. Really beautiful. And some of those trees out there in the lake. Kind of wild. It's a neat little overlook area here so you can get out to staying up here on the rocks that's some oh, definite slickness to this trail Whew. you gotta kind of watch they got moss and lichen and brush and all sorts of stuff out here along the trail and boatloads of gnats and skeeters and stuff. Good lord! And they're buzzing me all over the place. Whew! Doggy. This is the part I think the one guy was telling me about online. The Google review. Talking about being on the trail, not too far from the edge of the bluff. 
This would fit that category for sure. This is beautiful though. Beautiful as this is, this stuff is slick as snot. Definitely be careful crossing this. There's a bag out here in the woods. Huh. Have somebody left it or they got a trail drop. It's beautiful. I see why that bag was there. It's a gentleman. Got a rope. It's like he's rappelling around on the uh, cliff face over there. Wow. Tell you what, that guy's got more cojones than I do. Whew. So, just hanging on by a thread, literally. Okay, so, you got the trail here. And it continues on that way whether that's human or animal trail, but there are a boatload of no trespassing signs out here. So, I don't know if someone's overzealous or if that's actually not part of the trail. So it looks like if you keep going that way past the no trespassing signs, there's a house, there's stubbed up sewer pipe, house, there's some construction fencing, and there's a little bit of a gravel road up here, which the map is showing me being off trail somehow. And near a road so that must be it but I don't know there's like a pile of firewood up here on the hill too so if you hit that I don't know I guess you're off trail it keeps telling me that the trails way down there down the hill all right so I'm here there's a blue arrow pointing down so I don't know if that's a blue blaze for like water offshoot or if that's the actual blaze for the trail but that goes down. That might be able to take you down. I guess I'm going to take a little look-see and just see if that's an overlook or if that actually staircases you down the trail. Uh, going up along the bluff line here. Followed that for a little bit. And uh, it meandered about. There was a guy out there doing some repelling and stuff. But uh, eventually it just came out to a bunch of no trespassing signs there was firewood there was a new house being constructed on a road and the map kept showing me being off almost like the trail was down in the valley so i'm gonna go take a look see at this and see if maybe that's where the trail actually goes um be nice to actually see where it does go but it's a one way in and out so <laughs> if i gotta climb down that means i gotta climb back up to get it back so I'll just take a quick look-see. So yeah, kind of just climb down this stuff and down on a little valley here. Looks like a trail. <laughs> kind of neat. Ooh. Got a lot of big rocks to traverse down there with. Amazing. It's a cool little cave area in here. Of course, 
I see my fire pit. Cool little area here to camp out overnight. Arnold Schwarzenegger's favorite word right there. So neat. Pretty cool, Maynard. Well, made it down here to the bottoms. So, all that stuff on top, no trespassing and all that, and being way off on the map. Yeah, definitely have to come down through that little blue blazed lookout area. Climb down all those rocks. See that really cool waterfall campsite down here, and uh, just continue on past all the rocks and down here next to the lake. Like there's a couple of ways to go that way or this way. I'm not 100% sure. One across the way has some sort of blaze on it. Time to go look at the map. So according to the map and my direction, I gotta go across this little stream over to where that little blaze is. So it looks like this one has a blaze number 385 on it. Continue on down the road. Looks like some more cool bluffs here. Ooh. Yeah. That's a beautiful bluff line there. Nice and cool down here. Here along the bluff, looks like some charred stuff, maybe. Unless that's some sort of moss, but it could be from fires. A little bit of a fire ring there. Looks like a big old cavey thing back in there. Kind of neat. Well, that's a pretty little area there. Well, I guess I've been out here for a good hour and a half just wandering around, so. Yeah, probably be out here for a little more trying to get back, but uh, I'll probably go explore this a little more when I got more daylight and uh, Pretty cool from what I've seen so far Just got to learn these little tricks on where to route and where to go down. So Yeah, just because you see a little trail doesn't mean you necessarily have to follow it But I hear a bunch of dogs barking off in the distance too. So you know, it's getting dusk. Yeah, I don't know, I'll probably head on back. So, it's definitely fun. So, if you're ever down here, check it out. This lake is basically a big water reservoir for uh, Carbondale and Macanda and all that good stuff. So, it's pretty deep. <laughs> Might have to kayak it sometime soon too. Go down the boat rock, or boat ramp and uh, go down there and cast off. And some beautiful trillium here. Along the trail, some pretty little violets, signs of spring. So I got uh, <clears throat> lost on the trail coming back. Couldn't find my way back up the rocks. 
so kept on what looked like a trail. Eventually found another way to get up in that little loop. It's near the beginning by a parking lot. And kinda on like an animal trail. Approaching that coming back. Nothing fancy. You can kind of see where I'm at. Cool beans. Stones and a 385 marker. Awesome. So looks like I'm kinda back on trail. Yeah, I see where I'm at now. So this is the little bit of yeah, a little trail marker right there. Little thing off the side. Whew. Around all these big rocks that you come down when you're first coming on trail. So that way there, I'll take you around the big old loop. That was way down there that I went earlier. Well, just got back in my car. <laughs> so the owner right here next to the place had three dogs come run out of the property and come run up towards the car. So I was able to get in in time. <laughs> they might have been the ones I heard. Little puppy doggies. Ruff, ruff. Ooh Get away from the doggies. <laughs> so yeah, those suckers love me. I heard them barking. I heard other ones barking around too. It was hard to geolocate them when I was hiking. But when I got back to the uh, trailhead, there were still a couple cars in the parking lot. But all of a sudden I saw one dog, and it became two, and it became three. Luckily the owner was out there. They were yelling at the dog a little bit. But, uh, whew. Yeah, the moment I just like unlocked the door and boom, got in with backpack and everything. I wouldn't have had time to take stuff off. They were right up at the car. <laughs> Not too bad a trail. It's very beautiful. Wouldn't mind doing some more of it uh, when I got more daylight hours. But uh, I'm gonna go head out and explore a couple other things before it gets dark. So I'll uh, catch you again on the trail. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.